Hey, what is up guys? So Raven here and today we're gonna talk about, well, a bit more budget E, if you can call it that way, a version of the Sand Discord VMAT, because when I first started recording that deck I had, well, uh, less of Sand Discord than I have right now, so the proper, proper version of Sand Discord, after a bit more testing on stream, will be probably this Friday, but for now a nice budget deck for people that, well, have not opened a lines of 4-4, or, well, don't have the budget to open that, right, but they just open like, you know, maybe one, one, two, two lines, and uh, are thinking, hmm, how Sand Discord is gonna look like with less of them, and that is precisely that version. So you can test, so you can practice, so you can actually see why this is a great card. So Sand Discord G Max Sentiferno, that's what, we, what the attack we're gonna be using, and it's of course 30 plus, and then another 30 is for each fire type energy you have attached to this Pokemon. And after you attack, you attach one energy from your discard pile straight to this Pokemon. So Again, you'll not see a special energy in this uh, deck. Again, it's a more budget version. Of course, the special fire type energy will be in the proper one uh, around Friday. And again, at the time of, you know, me doing that deck, I had not pulled that. So, um... Now, now I have it all, and so we're gonna have you know, the proper version later, now it's a nice budget deck. So here we got a first attack, and of course we also will be using the Radiant Heat. And Radiating Heat is actually pretty, pretty, pretty cool attack, because, well, you can discard your opponent's active Pokemon energy, and it can be a special type energy. For example, if you're facing a DP Zashan, and they're going first, they play that water type energy, or Aurora energy, on their ADP, well, you're just gonna discard it, right? So definitely a bit of disruption right here, and well, it does discard your energy, but you kinda want your own energy to be in this card pile, so that is what we kinda want from Santi Scourge. Of course, this is a deck that is going to be going second heavy, because of course we will playing Volcanions, and the amount of Volcanions is due to the fact that, well, it, with three, it was a bit too much, that's how I felt about it. Three was a bit too much, two uh, definitely a bit better and felt a bit better uh, for this deck, but also gonna have some draw tree. So let's look at the whole deck actually, right? So we start with a line of two, two Sandy Scourge V and V Max, one Heatran GX, two Volcanions, one Elder Ghost, and why he is in the budget deck? Because, well, prior, prior to Darkness Ablaze, that was two packs. One pack. That was, it was so, even IRL, it was like two euros to get him. So that was a really cheap card, and I've said it many, many times in my videos to get him at that time. So I'm adding it to the budget deck because, well, it was like that. Those are two, three weeks ago. Then we got two Denene GX and two Jirachis. Why only two Jirachis? Well, I mean, you could have gone three, four, but I felt that two were enough to give me the most consistency and again, a bit more budget approach. Then we've got two Order Pads, one Pole Pad, three Pocket Gears 3.0 with three Pokemon Communication. So again, here, nothing crazy. We got four Quick Balls, one Reset Stamp, two Scoop Up Nets, two switches, by the way, of course, to the Dene's Trainer's Toolkit, right? In Trainer's Toolkit, you've got two the Dene GX, so that's why I can include it here. Uh, we got two switches, of course. Um, later on, you will want to go for four, but that's, you know, that's for uh, the Friday's deck. Three Giant Hurst, two Bosses Orders, and of course, Boss Orders, let's be honest, Trainer's Toolkit. Uh, we've got also two Malo and Lanas, two Monies, three Researchers, four welders, two burning scarves, and 12 energy. One thing what is worth noting is that this is a post-rotation deck, right? It's a post-rotation deck, so it's not a pug, right? It's not Ultra Prism, Darkness Ablaze, no, it's a post-rotation format. So definitely, you know, this will give you an extra advantage if you're actually thinking about the post-rotation more than about any other format. So let's move to the gameplay, because honestly, even, you know, even though it's a bit less on the mons, it's still pretty darn good, so let's take a look at the whole deck. Let's have some fun. Nah, like next week is gonna be something different. No worries, dude. And congrats, Tom. So, yes, this is like Creator Trade 4, uh, of course. Full Art Howl. Oh, boo -hoo -hoo. You've won, you know, you've won how full art. Come on. <laughs> I'm trying to go first. Ye no. 
Oh, the Dene start. Well, we know that's a good deck, though. If, if it's a Dene start, we know it's a good deck. Why well, you punish her? That's me being passive aggressive, you know? <laughs> it's like. Haha! -ha. No, so is it like create a trade for a full art how? Because uh, it waits for you, alright? Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Research. Wow. No, no, like the price uh, of today's tournament is a full art how? So, again, Zilla. Uh, trade for it. Okay. The Dene. I got a switch, I got scoop up net. Still I wish. So as I can pass the turn. It's all good, you know, I have a nice setup for my turn one. Uh, I was unable to attack, but still I have a great setup. So I'm fine, I'm happy with what it, we got. So far, so good. So, Spider, how was your first pre-release? And what do you guys think about, you know, just doing those pre-release, quote-unquote, events every single set? Because uh, I think it's a quite fun idea that we can actually do every single set and we can try to keep. So like expand, you know, so expanded finite booking will open expanded weekend and the end is going to be, you know, the pre-release. Because I think, you know, it's, it's a fun little thing to do and... Yeah. Just like completely out of, you know, out of like everyone. And you know, again, everyone has a chance, right? Because no one knows, uh, kind of, we are working with the same pools. Or with the same, you know, like, luck factor, right? Some of us are luckier than the others uh, in terms of uh, heads. <coughs> Zilla, what? Um, but yeah, I still think you know someone ha needs to check Zilla's uh, Zilla's coin. I think uh, we need a coin check here. <laughs> Tails. The name. You should have seen uh, the heads against. Yeah, I can imagine. Th that's that's why I said we need to. You know, we need to check those. You know, we need to check those coins. <laughs> but that's great. And you see, we have our own like you know nice pre-release. I'm super happy. I mean, like you know, I, I feel like the problem that Spider had was that that was a crow bat and he draws cards, and Spider was working already with like, large hands. I'm here since eight months, right? It's eight months. I mean, Steve is half a year with us, which is again another uh, crazy thing. All right, so let's just go for it. Oh yes. Welder. Quick ball, so I'm gonna actually start building up a second one, so I can go cup up net. I don't really need that. Yeah, that's a good watch time. Um, I'm gonna bring ball pad. Actually, I never using Twitch before. Uh, like, I was never interested, and then I was like, "Hey, let's so ah." That is like that's so nice. That's honestly so nice. By the way, Tom, uh, as I said, t line of two two. Look at that. Like, this is. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm happy that I've met you guys. I mean, we still have to, you know, we still have to meet IRL. When once, you know, once the situation, you know, gets gets uh, different. Just so I can finally beat you, maybe IRL in Pokemon trading card game. Probably not, but at least, at least, you know, that, that's w w what I can look forward to. <laughs> And bring, bring you guys Pokemon Balloon. Like, I'm kind of curious how many balloons we're gonna get from Pokemon. Because actually, I might, you know, I might, I might send uh, balloons to, like, maybe maybe Urema, you know, maybe uh, Spider, like, that's a different story. Because the border is not great. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Say to you. That, that we're never gonna beat Tom. Tom is uh, the top tables. We are the main stage. We're never gonna meet. <laughs> no, like Zilla, because of what you've said, like I have, like a little tear here. It's like so cool. Month anniversary. I don't know what is month anniversary. But month anniversary to you, Tom, as well. And again, uh, actually, thank you so much for you know being in the first pre-release. You know, Rama, thanks for judging again. Uh, Judge Rama here, judging the whole 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 event. Yeah, I think we should add Mew to this deck. But you know what? No, I don't care about that Mew. He's not going to be able to knock us out. He can try, and that's it. He's like. Usually at spot like that, I will be nervous like that we might you know, we might get like uh, it's not gonna be quite great, but honestly I Have 320 HP And a well and a weller for next turn. It's like dude Dude Gmax center fair now Yeah, cuz like there's no way cuz the problem is that you know, he's Caping at certain thing. So happy anniversary, happy happy release of the new set. Um, anniversary is Rochnica, right? So it's Rochnica. That is anniversary, right? So yeah, I feel like now again, a spot like that is quite good because right now I can just try to get myself uh, Malo and Lana, right, and just. Because I feel like the comfort that gives you 320 HP is something that should not happen. Because I've never felt so much comfort. Because, like, you've seen, he went for two Dadanes. And I went, okay, you can have this one prize card left. It's great, just go. I, it's such a bad behavior, because, I mean... I, yeah, I, I'm gonna one-hit KO him. Because I have a welder, I have energy, energy from my hand, I attached energy from this card pile. It's like, he's caping at 270. I can't uh, so yeah, because I couldn't turn earlier. Turn earlier would be 240. Please teach me how to say Polish, Tom, go to the kitchen and cook. Tom, idź do kuchni i gotuj. Each do kuchni i gotui. So yeah, like I can one hit KO him right now. Cause like turn earlier I couldn't because there was not enough uh, energy. But yeah, I can just do it now. So as I said, the amount of HP that this mod has, it's just absolutely insane. And it's comfort I mean I can just even go with, you know, with switch and Heatran GX at that point. 360. No even not even sweating. So yeah, kitchen is kuchnia, so kind of similar. E uh, go, it's ij. So yeah, there you go. Mm. Like for anyone who wants to test it, um, anyone wants to test that that, that decklist in particular. In terms of Santi Scorch, just discard their special energy, and they're like, then there's a problem. If the guy would have Thunder Mountain, well, there you go, right? The item luck kind of hurts, but not to that extent. Um, 
Zashan ADP. Um, I've already have a post rotation list for it, and post rotation looks really nice for a Zashan ADP. Mm. Also, I think, and this is not because of Rema, but it's like honestly, I do think ADP Intilion is gonna jump right there. I genuinely think so, due to this new patch, right? Maybe some stage 1 uh, decks, but I, I think the chair is gonna be like that. Sandy Scorch, Eternatus, Dragapult still is gonna stay there, ADP Zacian, and that's it. That, that's gonna be like the top. And then going lower, we'll have definitely know we will see a rise of decks around. Mew three might also kind of be there, but like I can guarantee we'll see a rise of stun physic desk uh, desk decks. Uh, but also Hundun might be quite an intriguing deck, you know, with the vengeful flame. Hey Matt, hello. But it's not you know it's not hitting those high numbers, which is a problem. But again, if there's going to be a rise of Sentry Scorch, then that means that ADP Intilion is also going to go up. So it all depends, like it's heavy meta dependent, but I genuinely think we'll have uh, first two weeks of, of what I said. And then it's slowly going to stabilize, because the problem is we don't have IRL tournaments. So you will see just really weird, weird, weird stuff happening. Um, and especially that, you know, for the next two weeks, we have DAA uh, Ultra Prism, right? So we'll see, we'll see how this is gonna go. Um, fortunately, it, it, it's, it's gonna be great. And yeah, like Zashan ADP, like... The thing though with Zashan ADP is that you kind of have to... Rethink the matchups. So like, if you're against Senti Scorch, you can't have like in general right now. I don't think you can start with ADP. I have to go first. Uh, no, due to the discard, right? You can't go first and go ADP as an active. You have to change that strategy uh, right there. But just amount of bringing the energy back is huge. So There's also a question of Charizard V Max, right? Is this going to be a, a valid deck? Honestly, I think you know. It pulled a gold charm. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, Zilla sent screenshots. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be an interesting pre-release. Like, I, I'm, I'm just looking at, you know, at, at the last stuff. Um, so again, Zilla... Um, Dragapult is blocked by the big parasol. Uh, yes and no. Yes and no at the same time. Uh, he is, yeah, of course, the, da like, the bench damage is not going through. But... No one in their right mind is gonna go and play four parasols just to put on all of four of their mons on the bench. Right? So the parasol, I mean, you're gonna put probably on the mon that, you know... Uh, that you'll be, you know, scared that's gonna get knocked out by it. But at the same time, you know, Dragapult is gonna go with uh, the... the, uh, the the, 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 uh, how, how the removal was. Mm. Oh, like this thingy. Forgot the name. Never mind, but we know the tool removal. Especially if you already have to play a lot of other things in your deck. On top of what you got, right? So, not really sure uh, about it. It's like Parasol is great, but it's kind of the same as, you know. Um, Hey plan, how's it going? Hello. It's kind of the same as you had cards like. By the way, this is this is a turn to Senti Scorch V Max Tool Scrapper. There we go. It's kind of the same as we had. You know, um, we had a card like Stealthy Hood. 
or you know, Sky, you know, it blocked a lot of things. It helped against Caldeo, but the only mod that kind of played it was the Mew Three, right? That was the deck that played it. There was no other uh, decks that ha actually used it to 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 that extent. Um, Sky Pilar. The thing is, you know, that Dragapult is just uh, really adaptive to those tools, and I generally think just, you know, taking four parasols for one matchup is not gonna be great. Like, in the long run, it's just not gonna be that good. You might see one being played, right? And, and people playing against the Dragapult more conservatively, it'll be like, you know, not playing whole bench. In control of middle decks, really good. But yeah, but uh, so okay. There have been so the control of middle decks. No more Aranguru resource management. No more uh, Bryson and Belalba. Like those decks are gonna get hurt really badly post rotation. That's kind of w w w what, I, what I'm saying, you know, here. So like. Control and mill decks, they have to find a different way. So for control decks, definitely they are just move and shift towards getting rid of your opponent's energy. So you'll see more of the seeking, ripping on type of deal. Sure, Rama, no problem, mate, no problem. But I don't think the you know, controller mills are, are, are going to be still like somewhere like even near the top. Yeah, yeah like, like yeah, because like I'm, yeah, because I'm talking only about post rotation. Like for now, yeah, like now they, they will go for those two weeks. Yeah, like parasol, it's a great idea. But I'm talking post rotation, right? Like mill control, hmm. not necessarily there, right? Let's go G-Max and Teferno, and just slowly. Um, I kind of wish, it because if we would have the Welder this turn, that would have been a beautiful, beautiful hit, but... Well, no Welder, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I forgot Malo and Lana. I did forgot Malo and Lana actually. Yeah, because if we would had a welder, that would be two hundred eighty last turn. And yeah, since Kurt is it? Yeah, it is. But at the same time, you know, he can just go right now with twelve more counters, right? He's gonna go with twelve counters probably. Um, maybe retreat here. Which gives him 260 on him, yeah. Like, you see, like, the more I play, uh, the more I kind of realize w what 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 things I'm missing. So, Ram, have a fantastic dinner, my friend. I hope... Um, can't you buy... No. You can't buy kit in-game. No. Actually, you cannot buy anything in game right now. And that code, it's gonna be some. It's gonna be next week on YouTube, right here. So you can subscribe, and you will see that. Cause this is you now we're still testing, mate. This is test phase, and I don't want to give uh, some. I don't want to give unfinished product to you, right? Cause like I know right now, I'll change a few supporters. I'll change a few trainer cards. So there are changes coming. So yeah, uh, there's no way you can actually go and purchase stuff like. Release kits uh, that way. All right, so let's take a look. All right, we got a welder. Mm. No, I'm not. I'm on holiday during that time. <laughs> I'm on holiday. All right, so all I need is one. Let's see. Okay. 
Right, so what I can do right now is... Uh, do I want... Wait, I have a switch now. Let's go to Dene. So I'm on holiday during that tournament. And if I, if I were playing that tournament, you know... I know I'll probably have some fun with, like, you know, weird decks. Okay, so I kind of want this card to be in this card pile. So... So then I... Ah, didn't work. Alright, alright, no, fine, fine, fine. Still good. Yeah, uh, but I'm not bringing that energy. I don't need that. <laughs> So, I kind of avoided the Firework Bomb, because he missed that. Um, here, he can only do 120, so he's going to be keeping that. Uh, I wish I will be able to draw Boss's Oldest. So, like, that's why I, I in my IRL deck, I do play Ninetales, because I can discard two energies and just go for it. But maybe, you know, maybe he's going to give me my Boss's Oldest right now. Who knows? Yeah, no boss all this, but you know what? I can just go retreat, attach the energy, yeah. I mean, I have ways of doing stuff. So, uh, we're waiting for Zilla to complete her deck. Of course, uh, hopefully Zilla knows about, about, about uh, the additional cards, right? I hope you know Zilla. All right, so let's take a look. Ah, no bosses orders. That's a bummer. Yeah, and like with 20 of my packs, I got like, you, you see what I got, right? That's why I said, just trade. <laughs> All right, I mean, I have time. But again, I, I had V, I have no V as well. So I've sent Zilla uh, this message. So again, uh, Zilla, up to three downs, three hops, three events, and three miles. You can add on top what you have, and we're gonna start the tournament. So Right, so he's gonna try to do fireworks. Um, he's gonna keep on attacking Santi Scorch. That's kind of like a no-brainer here. The Danai, come on, just give me that boss's orders. There we go, GG. <laughs> like that's why I like that dude. This is a beast of a deck. It's enough. Well, there you have it, right? There you have it. That was a fantastic uh, budget pass rotation sent Discord deck. And honestly, you should definitely sub uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos and more post rotation because that's what we're going to be doing. Post rotation decks coming all day, all night. But at the same time, well, um, it was a fun deck. It was a fun deck. And well, the proper version, right? With a proper lines and like really uh, budget heavy kind of a deal is coming around Friday. That's, that's what I'm going to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Good night. Revan loves you. Take care. Have fantastic rest of the